Hello everybody. Hopefully today I will have resolved the audio issues, which turned out I had two mics on at the same time. And now I will, uh, again, this is going to be a quick video just for testing uh, OBS and making sure everything is working. And I am going to uh, set up WHD load on the Amiga, but I'll be doing it through the Mr. FPGA. So let's first uh, talk about the instructions here. Uh, you can find all of the instructions that I'm going to do on my blog, which is uh, cowboy3398.wordpress.com. And uh, once you're there, scroll down, uh, search for Amiga, and you'll find an article that talks about uh, WHD load installation. Uh, let's scroll down. Here we go. WHD load installation. So the full instructions are at uh, whdload.de. So if you want to go through the uh, the full version and completely understand what's going on that's the way to do it. However, uh, this, like I said, this is the Coles Notes version. Uh, on my blog, I'll tell you what you need to do just to get her up and running. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to AmyNet and find uh, Kickstart. I mean, Kick S Kick three four six dot LHA. I uh, go to amynet.net, I believe it is called, and then uh, do the search for uh, skick346.lha. Um, then somehow get that to your Amiga. In my case, uh, I have a shared folder between the, uh, the Mr. and the Amiga, and so I can grab it from there so I'm gonna oh I guess I need to start up uh, my quote Amiga so I'll be using uh, Amiga OS uh, 3.2 uh, for this demonstration and if anyone doesn't have a mister well you should consider getting one. It's a fantastic system. So I'm going to open up the RAM disk. Open up Mister, and I'm going to look for the S kick file. There it is. I'm going to I'm going to drag it across, and uh, let's make sure it's actually there. Show all files. There it is. Now I'm going to open up a CLI. I'm already in the RAM disk, so I can just uh, take a directory and see that the file is there. I'm going to type uh, LHAX for extract and uh, S kick, blah, 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 press enter. Now I'm going to make a directory, devs, kick starts, make dir devs. Starts, and now I'm going to copy all the contents of the Kick Starts folder here to the Devs uh, Kick Starts. So next thing you need to do is uh, 
if you go to the uh, WHD load site and you have ROMs already, and I do, I went through the painful process of actually uh, uh, going to this table down here, renaming all of the files so they matched what it says on this side. So I renamed Amiga OS 120.rom to this. And make sure you don't include the .rom extension. It's .a500 or .a600, 1200, 400. That's important. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this. I have already have a folder on my uh, Amiga to do all of this. So I am going to go back into uh, here. And I'm going to look for my oh, one directory back, WHD ROMs, which I've already made. And I'm going to go into system, devs. Look for kickstarts. Probably not going to show up. Oh, there it is. Kickstarts. See, it has some files in there. Now I'm going to copy the actual ROMs over. Okay, so I have all the ROMs over now. And uh, some of you have older uh, Amiga Forever files. If you, if you do, you need the ROM.key file. Now the next step is to uh, go to your website, uh, go to uh, WHD load and download the WHD load underscore user dot LHA. And again, get it over to your Amiga, which is what I'm going to do. So let's switch this over. And again, I'm going to copy this to the RAM disk. Drag. I'm going to open up a DLI again. Probably have one open already, but go to RAM. L H A X W H H D load. Press enter. And this will take some time. It's a fairly large program. Uh, but what's nice is that uh, there'll be a graphical user interface for me to go to once this is all extracted to the RAM disk. And you go and you use the uh, default settings for all of the um, all, all of the installation. Now I already have some uh, games. So uh, if you find out how to convert them to WHD load, that's an exercise up to you. Um, but I already have these games and I've put them in my shared folder so that I can load them. Okay, the operation is successful. So update the uh, RAM disk. Go into WHD load, do install. Proceed with install. 
install for real, proceed. Uh, recommending install installation into, well, what did I do there? Did I do that right? It says recommending install into C and then proceed. English installation is now complete. Uh, I probably need to restart my Amiga. I'm going to make that assumption, so I am going to reset it. Excellent, we're back. Now we should be able to uh, start a, a game. Uh, let's see here. Go to Mister, go to games. Uh, I'm going to do another world. And here we go, we're on our way. Oh, I forgot about the copy protection. Uh, let me... I know there's a website that gives me this these details as to... Uh, so I want position N10. So let's see. Uh, go to... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, pass. oh, I see. I've got to have the ten over here. An N, so I need this squiggle. Oh, you know what? I don't have a uh, <laughs> I don't have a joystick plugged in right now, so that's going to be a problem. Well, I guess that's going to be the end of this. So anyway, that's how you install WHD Load.